It's not her. She escaped. Oh my god, Mau Mau with that creepy smile and laugh. Hey guys, your favorite pharmacist is back here for another Apothecary Diaries episode. Today we need to make sure that Mau Mau is okay. She had, probably has some kind of concussion. As people mentioned in the comments, she got hit by like what seemed to be a metal bat. So like she's not doing pretty well and that's not even the, all, the most of her issues. She might be like actually bleeding out from her leg right now. The cut looked really deep and then when it comes to the legs, you know, it was her lower leg so it's less likely to have hit a major artery. But still, we want to make sure we take care of that as soon as possible. Which is why I was a little frustrated at the end that Jinchi wasn't hurrying to get her to a doctor. Um, it seemed like they just had it, made it drawn out and made him walk dramatically for the basically that for the dramatic effect And I know there's a lot of people saying like hey like you shouldn't jostle somebody who just had a concussion You shouldn't do that. But yeah, I think the most concerning thing is that she's bleeding from her leg from a deep cut And yeah, she might have a concussion and yeah, you don't want to do that. I agree I think the more pressing thing and the more thing that the thing that's probably gonna take her life more than quickly then whatever happens with the concussion is going to be bleeding out so she needs to get that taken care of as soon as possible you think that Jinshi with his military somewhat military training would have been able to at least you know close the wound up with some kind of cloth or something or at least like tie it shut tourniquet that part of the leg for a little bit or something like that but we didn't go that route um lock on did he set it up I'm not sure it's possible he set it up but it doesn't seem like he knew that Jinshi was in there it didn't seem like he knew that Jinchi was in there at all because he looked so surprised when they came out. And I think part of the surprise was realizing how important of a person Jinchi is. I did have some nice comments say that the dragon on Jinchi's outfit actually is a meaning of like high nobility, almost of the emperor's family or something like that. Um, so that kind of would show as he walked out to lock on that okay no this is actually part of the emperor's family like this is this guy is more important than he realized obviously the other part of the shock was seeing his daughter in such a bad state bleeding out and seeing that he may have fucked up in some way and that also would make sense why all the people started bowing to Jinshi as he walked out with Mau Mau because he does have that status so there there you go and so I don't think Mau Mau actually is gonna die but I I the way they were walking I doubt it like seemed like that they thought that she was dead or something if it's lock on was not the one who planned all this then we got that we do have some kind of malicious intent going on in the palace and we need to find out who would be the one to try to do this the more I think about it the more I'm like I don't think lock on was the one to do it he put Jinshi and Mau Mau on to the metal workers with the melting uh, lead um, and all that stuff as well like he knew about what was going on I think he may have even knew what was going to happen but he didn't tell them he, it was more fun like leading them on to the mystery but then he didn't realize that Jinchi was going to be the one at the ceremony and that Mau Mau was going to be the one who would have risked her life to save the person at the ceremony that is what he didn't calculate for and that's why he was so surprised so i'm intrigued to see what his reaction is going to be i'm intrigued to see what mau mau's recovery is going to be like in this episode with the concussion like it takes several days i'm sure um to like get back to normal you get ring people can get ringing in their ears they can get headaches after this and so you know it, and she may have some kind of fractured piece of her skull too with the, with the weapon that they use so we need to monitor Mau Mau and see how she's doing I don't think the anime is gonna jump right into like the next thing for her maybe she needs some time to rest and recuperate but that's just what I think let me know in the comments what you guys are thinking about this episode of apothecary diaries I read every single one while you're down there like the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel really means the world to me and uh, we're on our way to 10,000 subscribers on the channel hopefully we can get that by summer that'd be so awesome appreciate your support and of course if we get any kind of medical or pharmacy related things in this episode i'll stop and talk to you guys about them as we do also hit the join button down below if you want to support me as a channel member to get access to some cool benefits as well as getting some videos out early as well as getting access to the private discord server you can also do that on my patreon links in the description below and you get access to the full uncut versions of these reactions there if you so choose appreciate the support guys time for apothecary diaries let's get into it oh okay okay good they wrapped her head up. Her face is all swollen still. She's sleeping. Sandalwood. <laughs> Smells nice. Jinchi's bedroom. Well, yeah, her head still hurts. 
Oh, sweet run, grandma. Did they? Okay, they did patch it up. Fifteen stitches. Okay, good. So they caught it up. It's. Oh, so after the treatment, she brought him. He brought him. He brought her here. I can't speak. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's true. You're not. Are you getting yelled at? He's wearing it in front of her now. Oh, here we go. She has to explain it all. They were. Dude, somebody's out to get Jinchi. Or, I, th I think so, at least. Maybe not Jinchi. Maybe they were just trying to kill someone? The guy who died of the salt poisoning? Took some of the ceremonial tools they needed to be made. Falling ill to the food poisoning. Mm-hmm. Metal wires. Exactly, though. They can't make them. The, the metal workers... Yup, there it is. Uh, that's what it seems like, doesn't it? Because that's exactly what happened. It melted just like the lead in the keyhole. The lead. It's, it's all coming together. This music, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's all coming together. He was just told to make something the way that it, he was told. Yep, he just built it as ordered. So who did it? Who done it? Ah, so they killed... They think that... She thinks that they killed him too? How did he die again? They knew about the technique itself. Lockon knew about the technique. Oh. Oh, now you're starting to get a little curious. Were they going for him specifically? And she tries it. She turns away again. Get in trouble. Suire. Hmm. Could she be the perpetrator? Has it been a, some time now? I guess some time must have passed because her face isn't all swollen up anymore. Lock on? Or not lock on. Uh, Rihaku. Wait, what? What? Wait, what? It was her? She killed herself with poison? What the? What the? I Okay, so she was... Really? That seems like she wouldn't be able to do that. And why would she do it? What's the motive? Well, I'm just glad Mama was okay. Oh, she's going into detective mode. Yeah, that doesn't seem right, does it? Some morning glories. The morning glories. Resurrection medicine? Notice how she kind of still limping a little bit. What is she, what is that face she's making? <laughs> what? Oh my god, what the heck? <laughs> Mau Mau! <laughs> so 
something that maybe put her down, like made it seem like she was poisoned, but she really wasn't. She just like passed out for a while. But they confirmed that she was dead. Checked vital signs. Mm. Have her sit down. This doctor? Thorn apple? Thorn apple. Strong poison. It could just put it put her to sleep. Datura stramonium, known as the thorn apple, jimson weed, devil snare, or devil's trumpet. It's a poisonous flowering plant of the nightshade family. Has been used as a hallucinogen, long-lasting disorientation and delirium, anticholinergic syndrome, with a potentially fatal outcome. It contains tropane alkaloids which are responsible for psychoactive effects and may be severely toxic. In Dertura intoxication typically produces delirium, hallucination, hyperthermia, tachycardia, bizarre behavior, urinary retention, and severe majoriasis or like result in painful photophobia. Pronounced, pronounced amnesia is another commonly reported effect. As with cases of other anticholinergic poisoning, intravenous physostigmine can be administered in severe cases as an antidote. Atropine is a is is in the plant, which is used in traditional medicine. It also is just used nowadays too for certain things, especially dilating the eyes for during um, eye examinations. The Chinese also used it as a form of anesthesia during surgery, so that would put them to sleep make it seem like they're dead and could they wake up after that potentially the thorn apple looks like a white morning glory is she still in there it looks like they nailed it shut is she gonna open it oh jeez wait wait What? 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 It's, it's not her! She escaped! He, he, did he love her? If you put enough anticholinergic on the heart, it will stop. But I guess it could... I guess if it wears off, like it could restart. I guess that's what they're going for here. Oh. That's why she built that relationship with him. That's what she was getting from him. Oh. And then ran? She's not dead. <laughs> mm. uh, is it going to be that or it'll be something else? Like an anesthesia, like an anesthetic agent. Ah, uh, so it is kind of like a weird form of anesthesia then. Yeah, her leg still hurts. It's it's it is if you think about it. That's what kind of what we do to people when we give them anesthesia. We're basically paralyzing them. We don't stop the heart though. <laughs> like we don't. I don't know if that's what they didn't check. I, I'm not exactly sure. I mean, I think there's probably there is a way to uh, like stop the heart probably for a couple like minutes I would say like during heart surgery for example you have to pump people with blood while with like blood from machines while they're doing the heart surgery um but there's probably a way to do that where you could have it restart later I, I don't know what this show is really going for with that but I'm just thinking like anesthesia like paralyzing them putting them to sleep making them seem like they're almost dead 
but they're not. And then once the drugs wear off, then they wake back up. Uh, so who's doing this and why? But we figured it out. Oh my god, that... Oh my god, Mau Mau with that creepy smile and laugh. Oh my gosh, she's getting really excited about this. Oh my god, that smile. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Whoa. Yo. She wants to know how to make it. She wants to know. Oh. That evil laugh. Oh my god. <laughs> Pardon me? <laughs> it started bleeding again. <laughs> oh! Lolan. Um. Is she involved with Sui Ray, maybe? We haven't seen anything from her since she basically came to the palace. Backed. So what 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 motive would she have? She needs to lay, to rest for a while. The weirdo. <laughs> mm hmm Doesn't want to meet him. <laughs> What is he drinking? He's plugging his nose. Is he... As a eunuch? Is is he actually... I thought he wasn't one. Oh, we get some Jinshi backstory right now? Became the current emperor's. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 Say that again. I gotta read that again. Who became a eunuch when the rear palace became the current emperor's five years ago? Wear this mask so he knows about all of it. To suppress my manhood. Okay, so he is taking a medicine to. What is he taking, I wonder? To suppress his manhood? What could he even be taking back then? Ba Boston is his son? Wait, did I, I have to go back again. I'm sorry. Boston's his son. Twenty-four years old, sir. <laughs> hey, he's looking. Suppress his manhood. I'm trying to think of anything that would do that. Is it like it, he could mean any sort of things by that? He could mean just like suppress his like libido. He could mean like literally shrinking his testicles. Like, it, it's hard to say. Um, like, there's a lot of drugs that cause you to have, like, a libido to... There's a lot of drugs that cause your libido to decrease. I'm not really sure what they would have access to there, so I'm not going to speculate because we can go on for hours on that. So I'm not going to do that. I thought about it, though. I thought I was going to. Hello? Who is this pretty girl? <laughs> Who is this? Oh, this is... Is this low? He doesn't find her appealing? This is Lolan? I didn't even realize. 
she's changed. She doing. She must be doing that on person, on purpose. I mean, she must be doing that on purpose. Important high-ranking official, the previous Empress Dowager's favorite. Oh, so that was her. She was actually pretty attractive there. The Empress Dowager, who gave birth to the current emperor when she was just a girl. Also gave birth to another child some ten odd years later. At that time, the expert style manager. It's is this confirming Mao Mao's theory then? Yep, 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 yep. But then they switched. And then they switched. Is he talking about the current emperor when he says that? Okay. We haven't seen her in so long. I've missed her so much. What's going on? Is she pregnant? Oh, she's pregnant. She's pregnant. Yeah. Gyokyo. She's going to go tend to her now? I'm glad to get Gyokyo back in here. Oh, at least she's acknowledging his existence now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, is that the emperor over there, by the way? Oh, yeah, the emperor is right here with their daughter. Oh, my God, how many years has it been? Jeez, she's already looking so cute. Has it been a year or two now? Hmm. Oh. Oh, that's so cute. Hmm. I hope it's not... I hope it's not a menorea. Hmm. Sure does. Back home! What? What? Not Pyrene! No! No! Dude! Not my Pyrene! Ah! It should have been me! Not him! It's not fair! I wouldn't even consider that mystery solved, guys. <laughs> Like, this whole Sui Ray thing, they may be trying to close it out, but no, no, no. We still don't know who she was working for, why she did what she did, and how she managed to escape. Well, we know how she managed to escape, but we don't know, like, who helped her escape. That would explain a lot. If they were going for Jinshi, I don't even know why anybody would be going for Jinshi. Like, they shouldn't even know that he exists, or they shouldn't even know that he's important, in theory. So I can't even put all of that together right now. I'm going to have to think on that. Um, but please leave your thoughts and opinions on that down in the comments below. Uh, no spoilers, though. I, w I do want to make a like a big statement real quick. In the last couple episodes, some people have been dropping things left and right that my mods have had to remove because it's just like straight up spoilers. Let me tell you guys straight up, like, it's better for you if I don't get spoiled. So don't spoil me. <laughs> it's better. It's a better reaction video for you, more entertainment value for you if I don't know what's happening. So don't spoil me, please. Thank you. Okay, back to the, the, the episode. Yeah, Mau Mau really, really was impressed with what Sui Ray did. She wants to be able to make whatever medicine cocktail that she made, the resurrection drug, aka just like anesthesia is what I'm thinking, um, essentially. Um, and 
she wants she was super happy about that like she was that was the creepiest laugh we've gotten out of mau mau yet wow um but then we have gyokyo who might be pregnant again i'm hoping that's the case um she, the way that they were talking about it makes it seem like Ooh, what if it's something else what if she's going i don't think she'd be going through menopause she's still pretty young i'm pretty sure she's still in her 20s uh, or amenorrhea which is possible where your period stops for a couple months uh at a time or it, it could just stop happening um and suddenly and sometimes it can be permanent so that's kind of what i'm scared of now uh, just because it, it said there were no other indications that she could be pregnant so i'm hoping though it could be another boy for the emperor and then the gyokyo could live happily as the new empress that would be very nice um but you know it doesn't always go that easy doesn't does not go that easy i'm wondering if lock on and mau mau will ever actually reunite at some point and talk at all uh, at this point but my main concern now is is my waifu pyrene going to get bought out by another man man i just i don't know what i'll do i don't know what i'll do <laughs> but again let me know what you guys thought about the episode down in the comments below if you learned anything appreciate y'all thanks for watching big shout out to the comments your subscribers and above on patreon and youtube you guys are awesome hunter de lupin jmc wu yi zhang zenthon bone inc cory daichi e hellstrom any beanie eric barton erky 506 fireheart 310 hapoko jazz nadoz jose rafael castor joseph ariaga kari little miss t bear lucas bull marco san pebble salty fries sean shorty tori and vengeance cookie thank you guys all that'll have to do it for me for this one i've been zach you've been you and i'll see you guys all in the next video.